let's take a moment to understand evolution in molecular terms. This slide should be a reminder that mutations or changes in the nucleotides of DNA typically occur during replication and of course are random. But let's take a look at replication. Two strands of DNA in a double helix separate. New strands are made. What really happens in most rounds of replication is that some nucleotides are incorrectly incorporated in the process of synthesizing the new strands. This process of mutation is of course random as I said. We're looking here at mutations that are essentially base substitutions. There are three possible consequences for the next generation during such replication. A defective or non-viable individual or cell may form. Theoretically, an individual that is better suited to survive, that is in fact more fit, might ensue. Or there might be no consequence at all. The mutation essentially is neutral. The individual organism might be unaffected. So, the concept of fitness applies to individuals and not to species. Let us consider these fitness consequences in more detail. Defective individuals, those with deleterious mutations, won't survive or at least won't be able to reproduce as well as the rest of the population. Individuals with beneficial mutations would be selected immediately because they would be presumably stronger, they could live longer, they could reproduce longer, and have more offspring. But actually this sort of thing is pretty rare. More likely, most mutations in organisms that survive are initially neutral, with no effect on individual fitness. The individual spreads these kinds of mutations by reproducing, but the progeny are no more fit than the parent. A neutral mutation might be recognized as useful much later, when environmental conditions change, we would say, to prepare or to favor the prepared genome. Evolution leads inevitably to speciation, that is to say the formation of new species. At some point the accumulation of naturally selected traits leads to physical or physiological differences in descendant populations that perhaps along with physical separation make it impossible for them to mate with other lineages from the same set of forebears. In other words, speciation occurs when populations of individuals become reproductively incompatible.